see the start of the new season more clearly with Sports Eyewear from Norval Opticians. Ross, for much of that game, it looked like it was going to be a game that would be decided on small margins, but it almost looks as if Gloucester's lack of confidence shone through in the end and, and Bath were just able to manage the game better. Uh, yeah, in the first half I thought we had them under the pump for the full 40 minutes. We were running at them hard, running around the pitch, making them tired. Um, then in the second half, we obviously didn't, didn't run at them as much and I think they played into their hands, giving them the ball and letting them run back at us from the backfield, so yeah. TV, journalists, they're all pretty negative about the way that that game was played, but it was a game played by 30 players on both teams with a lot of heart and a lot of passion. Yeah, obviously we give it everything. Um, just have a look at uh, what went wrong and try to fix some and come back next week with the same fire. Gloucester obviously needed to show a reaction after last Saturday. For much of that first half, there was a lot of boys playing for that jersey, playing for those fans, and the fans were, were giving back that support. Yeah, of course. I'd, I love playing at King's Home. I'm just disappointed by the results and I'll do my best every week when I'm playing for, for Gloucester. And now it's all about sticking together as a team. We've got a big few weeks coming up, Europe's on the horizon as well. There's a lot of chances for Gloucester to get some results and get some confidence amongst the squad. Yeah, we've got some tough games in the Amlin, um, but we'll go into them and do our best and hopefully we get some good results.